All right, Samara, tell us about this really interesting piece of art. Uh, we use lines and we use different colors to color in. We use sh shadings. And we had to either do our nickname, our initials, or our full name. So what are we looking at here? Um, we, I chose to do my initials, which is S-A-R-A -A for Samira Amna Rada Latiat. And I chose to do horizontal lines, um, heartbeat line, the box line, a scribble line, <laughs> um, spirals, bolded lines, hash crush, a different type of hash crush, and then the squirrely line. Hey, those are your choice, right? Yes. How'd you pick the colors? I chose my favorite colors. Are you happy with it? Will you do anything different? Um, I usually cho I chose like like one of my favorite colors, and I chose like a color that matched with it. Okay. Complimentary, matching, what? Um, complimentary. There you go. It's very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Emily, this is evidently a picture of you. Yes. How would we know this? I'm sorry. Did you look at a photograph of yourself or a mirror, or how did you draw yourself? I remember in my head about myself. That's pretty, that's pretty hard, right? But your big blue eyes, yes. your brown hair, yes. your big lips. No, not, not so much. No. All right, tell us about the background. Well, I used it red and blue and orange. And this, do the squigglies mean anything? You had to make it up, right? Yeah. That's very nice. Are you happy with it? Yes. Do you actually have that necklace? You made that up too? Yes. Did you really? Yeah. Thank you very much. Good job. All right, Mackie, tell us about this really fascinating uh, landscape. Um, the wood is made from oil pastels, and I painted it by um, blue colors, and I, I, I got my finger on and I just got... Um, one finger and I um, dipped it in the paint and I made lease. So really his finger painting plus whatever. Wow. Okay. Got out different colors of paint. Uh, are the leaves or the apples? What are we looking at? Leaves. Leaves. So it's fall, right? <laughs> A big wind came through. Um, and I got out, um, I got out some black, um, Black um, or Pascal's, and I just um, made a little bit of black in the trees. Right. For the branches. Is that, is that crayon there? For the trees yeah. themselves? It's or Pascal. It's a tricky, right? <laughs> very good. It's very pretty. Thank you very much. Welcome. All right, Madison, tell us about this gigantic animal in the, at your barn. It's one of my pigs that I drew. Um, I drew it because I live on a farm and I like pigs. What kind of pigs do you have? Um, I had a Yorkshire, I had a blue butt, and another Yorkshire. Um, do you go to the 4-H fair? Yeah. Okay, we've probably seen you there. We're there too. Well, so tell us, so I, the teacher said that you could break things up into simpler shapes, right? Yeah. We made it less scary, right? <laughs> and then could you... Um, you had a choice of colors? Yeah, there's a marker bin. It's very nice. I have one question. Is the pig really that big? Well, it's bigger than that in real life. <laughs> How big is it in real life? Up, up to your waist. Okay. All right, now, I'm sorry, what is that pig's name? Um, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. That's right. I heard that. Thank you very much. Good job. Yeah. All right, Jordan, this is easily the smallest picture here. Tell us about it. Um, I don't know what to say. Well, tell, I mean, tell, all right, so the, the process is? So first what I did was I took, I, I did like the little trees in the background just to start out for a base. Right. And then like I did the darker parts and then I worked, I worked on like the shading. And then I, and I did all the blues first, and then I added in the red to make it kind of look more like a sunset than it was. 
Was this from a drawing, a picture, or in your head? Uh, it was based off of a draw of a another pointillism drawing, painting uh, that looked very similar to this. It's pretty impressive. It's an awful lot of work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have any idea how many dots you did? How many points you did? No. <laughs> well, are you happy with it? I am very happy with it. I think it's very impressive. And like we said, you can see why they keep these paintings small, because it's so much work. Yeah. How long did it take? Um, it took about maybe three or four classes, three to five classes maybe. I really like it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Walter, this is one cool-looking lion. Tell us about it. Um, so, this this lion is a rainbow lion, and I've been walking on it for 12 days or something. Really? 12 classes? Wow, okay. How did you decide the colors? Was this from a painting, a drawing? How did you pick? It's it's a drawing of crayons. Okay, all right. Is, that, is it on brown paper, right? Yes, it's on brown paper. I mean, you added everything else. How did you pick green eyes? Um, Miss, Miss, Miss Spence usually draws a picture of it, and then I, and then other kids draw it in my class. Now, I'm going to think this is a friendly lion, right? Mm-hmm. How, how would a scary lion look? How would it be different? Huh? How would, how would a scary lion be different? Because we made our lion different up because... They are kind of, you know, brown. Yeah. Well, you have, you have like almost every color there. Yeah, they have every color. And it works really well. That's a very uh, happy looking line. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Tally, you're going to have to tell us about your drawing, and you're going to have to tell us about Keith hiring, too. Um, well, I only got three colors to make this, primary colors, right. and I had to mix them. Sorry, so you made every color we see out there, the light green, the purple, uh, everything else, and the light blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Keith Herring was an artist that did artwork in the subways that was illegal. and. <laughs> <laughs> this is legal, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so he um, inspired my artwork to do this. So, all right, so is there, is there a message here? Yeah, reuse, recycle, and repurpose. Okay, okay. So we're seeing Recycle the Earth. There's a logo, right? Um, and the colors and whatever. Um, do you like his work? Yeah. You think, um, you think people can change the world? Yes, I do. You happy with it? What would you do different? Mm. And how did you pick this purple? How did you come up with that color? That's cool. Well, I wanted to make the Earth pop. In the background, too, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Aubrey Klein, tell us about this really cool looking bird. Well, it's a tall bird, and I like making the watercolors in the background. It took like two or three art classes to make it. Um, I use crayons. Whatever I use crayons. First I use pencil right. and then I traced it with Sharpie. Oh. And then we did crayon and then we did the background with watercolors. How'd you pick the background colors? Which are really dramatic. Um we use paint and our crayons. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go in it. It's okay. like a special kind of crayon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And um we used it not just like blue because blue usually is like the color for the sky yeah. and we want yeah. to use a different color. You got to pick the colors. Yeah. How did you design the bird? Because that is one crazy bird. Well, um, Miss Sage, our art teacher, she showed us some ways that we can make the bird. And I drew one of the ways. Um, I... I made the tail curly and the beak like a triangle shape. Yeah. Yeah. What's the part the hardest part? Um I think the hardest part was like drawing the bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you kept it all together really well. It's very nice. Would you do any different? Um 
happy with it? I'm happy with it too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, thank you for joining us at the Superintendent's Art Gallery, an event that we hold both in the fall and in the spring to celebrate the artistic achievements of our students and our teachers here in beautiful Queen Anne's County. We have a wide range of artistic varieties um, on display. We have branched out to having some 2D work as well as some 3D work. Um, in our work we have pastels, we have oil paintings, we have charcoal, we have chalk, we have a variety. It's a lot of styles, a lot of going back to the classics because the art teachers are, are going back to the classical painters looking for things that the students can see and work to emulate and to reproduce on their own to learn more about the different types of artistic genres. These were all done fairly early in the school year. What does that tell us? That tells us that our teachers are working very hard to get the skills and opportunities that they need to get in to understand what they're doing and then the time to complete it. It's particularly difficult for our elementary school teachers who only see their, te their students once a week at most. So we'll see you in the spring. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.